Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you five steps to resolve this issue. Bad color pool. So let me explain you why you are facing this issue. There are multiple reasons behind this error, but some are majors like Windows corruption, the issue with your hardware like your hard disk is not detecting, the RAM issue as well, and sometimes the bad sector and corruption inside your hard drive and your Windows drive. I will show you how you can resolve this issue easily. So in the first step, we will run the SFC command. This will repair all the corruption inside your Windows and repair those automatically. Go to CMD first. Run it as administrator with right click. And hit this command SFC space slash scan now. This will repair all the corruption inside your Windows drive. And the system file will be repaired. SFC stands for system file checker. This will go to 100%. So you need to wait for the process to complete. So let me minimize this and let it run in the background. In the second step, we will update our drivers. Some, if your display driver is not updated and you are not using the correct driver, so you may face this issue as well. So in order to update your driver, go to device manager. Simply go to search bar, type a device manager, or you can right click on the start menu like this and go to device manager option. Click on this. And look for display adapter. Okay, this is the option display adapter. And make sure you are using the correct driver, not the Microsoft basic one. If there is any Microsoft basic one driver, it means that your driver is not updated. Right click on it, click on update. Make sure you are connected with the internet. So search automatically for driver. And your Windows and internet will help you to download the correct driver on your Windows. So close this option. You can also choose other driver as well. Make sure all the drivers are up to date. Like monitor. Close this and check all the drivers should be updated. If you are unable to find out the right driver for your windows. So we can update our windows with the latest one. This is the third step. In order to update your windows to latest, go to search bar and then type a check for update. These steps will work on Windows 10, 11 and you can also use these steps on Windows 8. Click on check for update now. and click on this option check for update this might take uh, more time but to make sure it will resolve your issue 60 to 70 percent if your windows is updated most problem will be solved automatically so make sure you are using the latest window okay if not you can choose this option check for update so these are the three methods if three methods are not working on your windows, we can move to the fourth method. Okay. In the fourth method, we will repair our hard drive. As I told you, this issue may cause due to the corruption inside your hard drive, like back sectors and the corruption. Right click on CMD, run it as administrator. Click on yes button when the prompt opens. And you need to hit one command here. C H A D S A space slash F space plus R. F will repair bad sectors, R will repair the corruption. So hit enter. Okay. And click on Y and then hit enter and restart your system. Your hard drive will be repaired with this command. This is very powerful command. This will repair your hard drive. And this might take one to two hours to scan your hard drive. So make sure you have enough time. For the time being, I'm pressing N. Okay. 
So you need to follow this process and your issue will be fixed. If let's say your issue is still not resolved, you have the last option which is reset your PC. Okay, this is the last option you have. Your C drive is going to format in this process. So and the personal data you can also back up in a D drive and other drive. We will choose the keep my files, but uh, sometime if something goes wrong, so your data will be lost. So make sure you have backup your data and then try this step. Go to search bar, then type a reset this PC. Okay. Click on get get started. Click on this option, keep my files. This will keep your personal file, like your photos, videos, and other. But remove everything will delete all the data from your C drive. So I'm choosing this option, keep my files, and getting things ready. Okay, you can choose this option, local reinstall if you don't have data. If you have data more than 4 GB, you can choose cloud download. Okay, and click on next option. And after that, follow all the steps next, next, and your system will be automatically restart. And make sure you have enough power. Plug in charger. If five steps are not working on your Windows and somehow you are unable to reset the PC. So you can reinstall a fresh windows. So hope this video is useful for you. If yes, then hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching.